What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, holy crap, it's been a while. We are going to talk about turbos for a second. I don't know if it's on there. Turbo. From the guys over at Turbo Time USA, they sponsor the channel. Affiliate code 6 Bros somewhere, maybe here, for 5% off your turbo purchase. Don't forget about their Lightning Bolt uh, VGT solenoid. We're going to be reviewing that once our uh, truck is back on the channel, which is happening. Uh, currently, the all the Kill Devil diesel build in the box stuff is over at a local machine shop being assembled uh, here soon. So just waiting on that, and then they're going to get it back in the truck, and we're back in business. So it is happening. I apologize; it's been a while. Anyway, so this guy here is what is why we're making a video today. So this guy here is why we're actually coming back to do a quick video because this needs to get sent off to the guys over at Turbo Time USA because we're going to be changing out our turbo setup. So as many of you guys know, we ran a 66 millimeter VGT turbo from those guys. It also has their velocity port in here, which looks super cool. I think it also works pretty well. This turbo just for as big as it is and with as small of an injector as i'm running 175 stock nozzles not like a huge injector this thing ran great lag times even on this were actually really good uh i want to say they were in line with my power max turbo which just goes to say how well this turbo ran considering it's a good bit larger than a power max granted the power max isn't known for like a phenomenal wheel design it's okay but this definitely ran much better and gave me better performance all the way around. Now I do want to talk about their turbos for a little bit here and we're going to finish with the turbo I'm actually going to go with. I do want to spend a minute and talk about their 61 millimeter turbo. I recommend this to a lot of guys. If you're sticking with a stock injector and but you want to go to a better turbo than what's available for factory, the 61 millimeter is perfect. It's going to spool really quick. It's got a 10 blade turbine wheel. So it's going to help really control those exhaust temps, but it's going to spool up really fast and give you great driving characteristics as well. So for most of you guys out there, that 61 millimeter is a fantastic turbo. Now going up to their GXR series, they have dual uh, plane wheels and single plane wheels. That's a 56, uh, I believe it's a 56.2 millimeter uh, compressor wheel at the inducer. So it's a good bit larger. And uh, it's a little smaller than this, but it's a good bit larger than the Power Max and other options out there. However, again, it is a great turbo. In the future, I'd like to review this one. It's not what I'm going to put in the truck next, but in the future, it will be getting reviewed by me. And they offer that with the Velocity port and without it as well, uh, depending on what you want. I do want to say for the GXR series to really take full advantage of that turbo, you really should be running something like a 190 30, 205 30 would be an excellent injector. Uh, you can go bigger than that, but that should really be like your entry into that size turbo. A lot of guys want to do it because it's kind of their premier turbo, but unless you have enough fuel, you're just really going to create parasitic loss in your system going to such a big turbo without enough to drive it um, as effectively. It's not that you can't run it on larger turbo. I mean, this is a 66 millimeter. I'm running 175 stock. So, it's not that you can't do it. That turbo would run better than this guy has, although this, again, has been a great turbo. They don't offer this anymore. But to really take full advantage of it, you would need to go to uh, bigger injectors, just like I originally planned with this. However, since this is something they no longer offer, and we wanted to kind of, the guys over at Turbo Time and myself talked, and we'd like to get into a turbo that one you guys are buying more of to get more reviews, something that's a little easier. Uh, we're going to do the reviews of the lightning bolt solenoids. They have two different variations of that. We're going to be reviewing both on the truck in the near future. So we're going to be able to compare exhaust back pressure, boost pressures, um, exhaust temps, all this stuff. We're going to be able to really map out well. We're going to do some data logging with it as well on my Edge CTS monitor. So we have lots of plans for all this. All that data is going to be available to you guys soon running 175 stock nozzle. So it'll actually go really well for where a lot of people are um, in builds and be comparable for everybody to kind of use. What we're actually gonna be going to next in the turbos is actually a 64 millimeter. So it's their stage two. So just to break this down, the Power Max is a 63.5 millimeter turbo. I previously ran, it's not known for super great spool up. It's still not a bad turbo, but the 64 millimeter that Turbo Time sells 
just knowing how well their products run, it's going to spool faster despite being bigger uh, than the Power Maxes itself. It's just got a more thought out wheel design. We're gonna keep the velocity port because I think they're really cool. And this turbo just sounds phenomenal. I'm hoping, I imagine the 64 is gonna sound just as good. I think their 64 millimeter, I think has a comparable designed wheel to this. I'm not sure, this is a dual, dual plane wheel. I have to double check with them if we're gonna stick with dual plane or if we're gonna go to a single plane wheel. Really the difference is guys, um, in the scheme of things, it is a little negligible on tur or, uh, diesels. Dual planes flow more air up top and single planes tend to spool slightly faster. Again, if you have nice wheel designs, it's relatively negligible in the scheme of things, but at the same time, that is a fact. So uh, just bear all that in mind with uh, with stuff. The powder coat on this is actually holding up really well too. This, uh, I'm not known for babying my truck, so it got pretty hot, but um, this is my coolant reroute rubs there. So that's unfortunate. Uh, kind of been thinking about different ways I want to run that in the future, but that's neither here nor there at the moment. But other than that, yeah, the powder coat's holding up really well. It looks great still. It'll be really cool when we have the new uh, VGT uh, lightning bolt solenoid from the guys at Turbo Time. So the turbo we're going to is their 60, is their stage two 64 millimeter. Um, it's just a, it's a nice all around turbo. You can run it with stock injectors. If you know, if, if your turbo failed and you're planning in the future to do injectors, but don't wanna have to buy two turbos, you can run it really well on stock injectors. Or if you want, you can definitely run that up to, I would say the max for a 64 millimeter, I'm gonna say is probably like a 20530, is probably about as big as you wanna go, which is the plan for the truck eventually to go 20530s. So we're coming down in turbo size, something I tend to uh, tell people to kind of steer people more towards. So we're gonna do some review of that. We already know Turbo Time makes great quality turbos, but we wanna actually get some reviews of the turbo most of you guys are out there buying. Again, I still recommend the 61 millimeter to a lot of guys as well. They run the Power Max. Um, well, these are built off 03 cores. Uh, so it's got the 10 blade turbine wheel. So this is a, it's definitely a high performing turbo. It's been great. This has put up with a lot of abuse uh, from me in the truck. So, and the next one's going to do the same. So we're just using this. Uh, they're gonna clean it up. It's been sitting for a while, obviously. So, you know, just, you know, get some surface rust on these. But yeah, so that's that. We just wanted to kind of do a quick video. I'm getting ready to send this out. I wanted to talk about turbo sizing a little bit. Again, if you're sticking with stock injectors, the 61 millimeter turbo they offer is a perfect turbo. It's gonna tow really, really well. Uh, keep your exhaust temps in check, even with those bigger loads. And uh, you could do a small upgrade if you went like a 155 stock, the 61 will still serve you well. Um, the 64 millimeter, the one I'm gonna run, I think is good for anything between like a 155 stock nozzle all the way up to a 20530. Again, that's the eventual goal. We're gonna review it with 175 stocks and then we'll eventually get the 20530s in there. Uh, the truck's gonna have a lot of airflow between turbo mods. We have an O-Dog intake. We have the new Icon Kill Devil diesel heads. Um, we have BD exhaust manifold. So a uh, big intercooler and uh, upgraded intercooler pipe. So we have a lot of, like we're gonna have a lot of good airflow on this build uh, and we're just getting to a turbo that's a uh, better overall turbo for most people whereas this is kind of more for people that want to do some this is kind of getting into like i want to race and stuff like that with my truck so anyway guys that is that uh getting ready to send this turbo off to the guys over at turbo time to update or to upgrade it to the 64 millimeter i'm going to ask if i can keep my wheel though i mean i did run it so anyway i hope you guys are getting excited about the future build coming all right, there you have it, guys. There's the old turbo getting ready to get rid of this. Not really, we're keeping the core. We're just updating the compressor side to their one of their current models. Again, 64 millimeter. Guys, if you have any turbo questions, wanna know help picking injectors to turbo size. Another thing we didn't get into is gear ratio and size of your tires can matter a lot in the drivability of your turbo setup. If you guys wanna see a video kind of talking about all that, I have slightly in the past, I'll try to find that, but we can definitely uh, get into that. Big shout out to the guys at Turbo Time USA for their continued support. They've been super patient with me through this process. And so have you guys. It means the world to me how patient you guys have been in this build. Don't forget to get your merch over at Teespring. I guess it's now called Spring. 
Uh, we did just release a, uh, a new one coming out that's got the original logo up in the chest pocket and blank out your hybrid uh, on the back. I thought that was kind of funny. So we'll be getting that uh, in soon. We'll have some other shirts coming out. Give shirt ideas if you guys want them. It's easy for me to kind of work on getting them out there. I want to clean up the store a little bit, especially as we kind of come back. For those of you closely following, where, where have I been is actually because I've been in uh, nursing school. I'm not having fun, in case you're wondering, but it is a necessary evil for me to uh, keep moving on in life. Uh, but we do plan to come back to doing videos regularly. Uh, hopefully my summer schedule is a little lighter. I can get some videos out, but um, I'm in the last year of nursing school and then I can kind of resume my normal uh, stuff that I used to do here. So stay tuned guys, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna say I'm the premier six liter channel, even if I've been absent for a while. But stay tuned guys, plenty of content to come. Affiliate code six obros out there. Also, don't forget about the guys at Blessed Performance, same affiliate code six obros for 10% off tuning uh, for your truck. So check him out too, Matt over there is a great guy. Uh, appreciate it. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing's the big one, but definitely hit that like button as well. Drop those comments down below guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Killed it.